Hey there, story lovers. Welcome back to another chapter of our enchanting tale. Today, we're diving into chapter two, where the sun sets over a quaint town by Lake Tahoe. Finn and Lila are about to embark on a journey that will test their courage and uncover hidden truths. So, buckle up and let's get started. The sun hung low in the sky, casting a warm golden hue over the quaint town nestled beside Lake Tahoe. Finn and Lila trudged through the freshly fallen snow, their boots crunching rhythmically against the icy surface. The air was crisp, filled with the scent of pine and the faint aroma of baked goods wafting from Elder Mabel's cozy home. As they approached the small, weathered cottage, its windows glowed invitingly, hinting at the warmth within. Elder Mabel, with her silver hair cascading like a waterfall of moonlight, welcomed the children with open arms. Her deep-set eyes sparkled with wisdom, and her smile radiated a sense of safety that enveloped Finn and Lila like a warm blanket. The interior of Mabel's home was a treasure trove of memories, filled with trinkets that whispered stories of the past. Shelves lined with dusty books and peculiar artifacts created a tapestry of history, while the scent of freshly baked cookies danced through the air, beckoning the children closer. Finn and Lila settled into the plush, overstuffed chairs, their eyes wide with anticipation. As Mabel began to recount the legend of the snowman, her voice took on a rhythmic cadence, weaving a spell around the children. She spoke of a time long ago when the townsfolk had faced a great fear, a fear that had manifested into the very snowman they had stumbled upon. He reflects the emotions of those who encounter him, Mabel explained, her gaze piercing through the children's hearts. When joy is present, he sparkles. When sorrow lingers, he dims. Finn felt a shiver run down his spine as he recalled the snowman's eyes, glimmering with an otherworldly light that seemed to echo his own insecurities. Lila, ever the brave one, leaned forward, her bright green eyes filled with determination. How can we help him, Elder Mabel? She asked, her voice steady despite the weight of their quest. Mabel smiled knowingly, her eyes twinkling with the secrets of the universe. To help the snowman find joy, you must first confront your own fears. Only then can you bring light back to his eyes. The children exchanged glances, the gravity of Mabel's words settling in. They realized that their journey was not just about the snowman. It was about facing the shadows lurking within themselves. As Mabel continued her tales, each story resonated deeply, echoing their own struggles and aspirations. With each word, Finn felt a flicker of courage igniting within him, while Lila's resolve strengthened. They were not just children seeking answers. They were warriors preparing for a battle against their own fears. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows across the snow, Finn and Lila left Elder Mabel's home, their hearts brimming with newfound determination. They were ready to face the darkness, not just for the snowman, but for themselves. The journey ahead would be fraught with challenges, but together, they would uncover the light hidden within the shadows. And that's a wrap for Chapter 2, folks. Stay tuned for more adventures with Finn and Lila on Storyteller.